What could a drop of lava do to your hand? Now picture this. You're standing around the kitchen, watching your mom fry up some chicken for you. She accidentally flips it too hard, and in an act of total defiance, an oil drop travels across the room and splatters on your hand. You can probably imagine that you would scream and stick your hand in the freezer for an hour, which would make the wound better. But what if your mom was a crazy scientist and used lava instead of oil to fry chicken? Well, the chicken would be burnt completely. But what about your precious hand, and even more precious, sanity? Would both be lost? To get the answer, let's find out what lava is. Well, most of us already know that lava is a hot liquid that flows out of volcanoes. But lava only becomes the lava we know and love when it becomes brave and comes out of the uh, crust. Before that, it is stored as a hot liquid rock known as magma beneath the Earth's surface. Lava and magma are not exactly the same, as magma loses some gases and acids to become lava when it surfaces. But really, how much hotter is lava than oil? Lava is hotter the more fresh it is, like your cakes that you baked and burnt during quarantine. Scientists actually guess hot lava is based on its color. Fresher equals brighter is the universally accepted rule. So, fresh lava is an admittedly beautiful, bright orange that we want to stick our hands into. Lava is 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit when it surfaces and cools down as it flows. Let us teach you how to know the temperature of lava just by looking at a picture of it. If it's bright red, it has cooled down a bit, and you can expect the temperature to be 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, it turns dark red. At that point, the lava will be around 1300 degrees. Brownish red lava is 1000 degrees. Still can't touch it, which is a shame. So when can you touch it? When it is hardened and turned black, which is no fun. Compare it to oil. A maximum of 400 degrees Fahrenheit is reached while cooking with it. Imagine, any time hot oil has barely splattered on your hand, and multiply the heat by 20. That's what lava would feel like. In many ways, we can't even fathom it. Okay, let's say you're a puma inside and avoid the drop of lava very narrowly. That drop will burn through your floor and drip onto your annoying neighbor's forehead. A win-lose situation, but we'll take it. Lava is essentially liquid rock, which sounds wrong, but it is the truth. It can stay liquid forever, so it will quickly harden. Oh, uh, not before it sets fire to your kitchen and your neighbor. It's a sacrifice you have to be willing to make. Whoa, hey, how did your mom get lava anyway? Does she have the personal number of Jeff Bezos? Tell her to hook us up too. Uh, but let's get back to the question. What would happen to your hand? Well, genius, your cemented ceiling has a hole in it, and so does your hand. Oh, that is a dream compared to what would happen if a minute drop of lava falls on your hand and not a drop big enough to burn a hole in your hand. The lava will burn your hand for sure. But then it will harden and embed itself in your body like a freak parasite. However, even though it sounds like the stuff your nighttime paralysis demons researches, you won't feel the pain right away. Because your nerves will be burnt off. What, that makes you nervous? <laughs> you can't expect to keep nerves and not feel pain and touch lava at the same time. So, don't touch lava, kids. It hates you. But if you're Iron Man, well, spoiler alert, he's dead. Okay. What if you were Superman or Captain America and want to explore how far you can push your body before it goes into oblivion? And your special superpower is that you can stand heat. You're like those people who swallow hot lead, walk on coals, and eat ghost peppers without reaching for that glass of cool water. Instead, you reach for a bottle of the hottest Tabasco sauce and a pitcher of boiling water to chug. Doctors hate you. 
girls love you, and you get a full ride to Harvard just so the professors can see you eat fire because we're assuming their work is so boring. Turns out their work really is boring, so you drop out of Harvard. But instead of inventing a social site named after face and book like some chump you know, uh, you decided to take your beautiful, miraculous face to South Carolina. Here you will test your sanity and eat the hottest pepper in the world, the South Carolina Reaper. If you're not familiar with this pepper, let us give you an introduction. It's a cute red pepper that burns off your tongues and whoever dares to put it in their mouth. If they dare to swallow, it burns their throats. But you're not ordinary. You're Chris Evans multiplied by a fire-eating power. You go down to Farmer, grab his collar and say, I don't have a Harvard degree, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. He will. For farmers? You shove him aside. You reach into his treasure trove, in which he hides the hottest peppers he has, and start stuffing them into your mouth. You chew, and chew, and feel nothing. You eat the whole box, and nothing. You turn in your rage towards the farmer, and he says, The only thing hotter than these peppers is lava, sir. Can you guess what you'll do next? Try to guess where lava is found since you ditched Harvard and remained uneducated. But then you remember Google exists and you need to find that holiday paradise destination. Hawaii contains the most active volcanoes on Earth. You feel excited and decide to try just one drop to see if you can be compatible with your mom's fried chicken. So you fly down to Kilauea, a volcanic mountain that keeps on spewing hot lava like gorgeous red tentacles. Once you see these fiery rivers, you decide that you want to taste this ancient part of the earth at once. And it might not even be the end of your journey. You see the hottest lava is still cooled down. Magma is even hotter if you go further down. The core of the earth is burning since the beginning. Imagine how hot that would be. This heat can push magma out in spurts of simply as quiet streams. When you reach the top of the mountain and lick lava, you'll find that it's really hot. Finally, a hot substance. You taste it. But it is disgusting. It tastes like rocks. So it won't go along with any fried chicken anytime soon. If you had a great journey with us and got some new material for your next nightmare, be sure to like this video and share it with all your friends. Subscribe to our channel to explore more of this wonderful, horrifying earth with us, right here.